Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to the first inaugural edition of the MGTOW Money Channel. And I should subtitle it by saying this is going to be the FIRE channel, F-I-R-E channel, Financial Independence Retire Early channel. This is going to be an action channel. This is not going to be a theoretical discussion channel. So before I get into what the purpose of this channel is, let me just describe what this channel is not. This is not going to be a MGTOW 101, MGTOW basics channel of male-female relations, what is hypergamy, what is solipsism, what sort of genetic happenings might have evolved, etc., between men and women, etc. If you want those type of information, that type of theoretical background information, I highly recommend, I cannot stress enough, some of the fantastic material on YouTube, and specifically, tremendous, tremendous kudos and shout out to Stardusk, a la his Thinking Ape channel, absolutely fantastic, phenomenal. For many, many men, at least for this one in particular, he drastically changed my perception of male-female relationships. I cannot thank him enough for the tremendous assistance he gave me unbeknowingly in terms of changing my worldview. So thank you, Stardust, for what you did. With that said, this channel's purpose is to focus on finding freedom in an unfree world. Yes, I'm taking the title from a uh, famous book, Harry Brown, wrote the book in the early 70s, How I Found Freedom in an Unfree World. Can't recommend it enough, which we'll talk about on some future broadcast, I'm sure. But specifically, we're going to talk about money and how it specifically relates to that. And just as importantly, how you can increase your options in life, how you actually have more choices than you might actually think that you have. So we're, again, we're going to move way beyond the theoretical and we're going to move into actionable things that you can do. And as a matter of fact, on each broadcast, I hope to focus on at least one actionable item that I hope you will take away and you'll apply. So with that said, I just want to briefly set some groundwork in terms of who I am and you know the position that I'm coming from. Let me start with my pseudonym. It's John Galt. John Galt's a reference to a famous novel by, Atlas, uh, by Ayn Rand, Atlas Shrugged, so in case you're wondering. The one thing I do have in my life that I cherish are the following. I cherish that I have in my life the five no's, the five N-O's. The five no's are no wife, no kids, no pets, no debts, no job, no no job that where somebody is paying me uh, to work X number of hours, etc. I don't have the five no's. And because I don't have the five no's, frankly, that puts me in a unique position relative to the amount of options that I have. And in my opinion, options generates happiness. And that's been my experience is that the more options you have, generally speaking, Ultimately, the happier that you'll be within certain confines. Again, we'll talk about that later. But some of the other topics that I do plan on discussing are books, lifestyles, travel, living overseas, which I've done, which I continue to do, unconventional ways that you can make money, money hacks, minimalism, stoicism, investing money, losing money, increasing your options, foreign women versus non-foreign women, non uh, versus Western women, if you will. Yeah, there is a great deal of difference, and there's a great deal of myths, by the way, that, that apply to foreign women. Let me assure you, again, speaking from experience. So with that said, let's move along and let's talk about briefly today's topic. Today's topic is going to be for your action item, for your homework, I want you to think about the basics of your life. What I mean is, I want you to think about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You know, the little, the little, um, the diamond, if you will, the pyramid. Pardon me. I want you to think about the baseline pyramid, and the pyramid being at the very baseline. You have the physiological needs, and then going a step up, you have the safety needs. Those are the most critical needs that every human being needs to exist. Do you realize how little 
that might be for you. And if you haven't, I just want you to think about that. Not not now, but today, tomorrow, in the next couple of days. Think about it and write it down. I think what you might discover is something that's been discussed, oh, for 2,000 plus years, is that actually it requires very little money to live. Now, of course, you want to live beyond some sort of subsistence, existence type of lifestyle. I get it. But there's a gradation between that basic poverty lifestyle and living in a gilded mansion. There's a huge gradation there. And for most people, for most men, they feel like they have very limited options. And I'm here to tell you, and the purpose of this broadcast and the subsequent videos that you're going to hear from me are going to be about increasing your options, about thinking about your additional options, about getting out of the mainstream, getting out of the rat race. This all directly ties to a man going his own way, making his own decisions, increasing the amount of options. Now, with that said, I cannot guarantee you that you're going to be rich. I cannot guarantee you that you're going to be even happy. I have no idea. I can only speak from the things that have worked for me as well as the things that have not worked for me, as well as I can relate to you stories that I've read and heard from other people of things that have worked and and that haven't worked. But everything is going to be very unique to you and your circumstances. But I think collectively, we can discover greater options and greater happiness, and greater fulfillment in life. Because ultimately, as you will discover as you get older, and I'm again, I'm speaking from experience, that life will run you down very, very quickly. And I can assure you, once you start hitting your mid to late 40s, you're going to realize that life is finite. For those of you who are in their early to mid 20s that are listening to this, you may not realize it yet. I promise you, You will soon. So with that said, the table has been set. You have an idea, a taste, a flavor of some of the future broadcasts. But again, I want to emphasize your homework that you're going to be working on is I want you to think about and actually ideally even write down, but if nothing else, think about what are those basic things that you need. The basic things that you need in life are X, Y, and Z. Don't tell me you basically need a cell phone. No, you don't need a cell phone. No, you don't need cable television. No, you don't even need a car. You might need some form of transportation. Yes, you need food. Yes, you need a roof over your head. But that can take many different, many, a myriad of different ways. So with that said, that's giving you an inkling. Let's get together again soon. So what I'm going to ask you to do is like, dislike this video, as well as subscribe to this video. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead, like, dislike this video, as well as subscribe to this video, and look forward to future ones on an ongoing basis along a similar vein. Thanks for listening.